I need everybody to sit down and get ready for what you're about to watch. This is Tyler Vasty coming out of Prairie Ridge High School, which is one of the best high schools in the entire state of Illinois. And he leads the entirety of high school football in rushing yards. And he's rushed for 3,878 yards, averaging 11.3 yards a carry and has 53 touchdowns. This dude, and he also has a 4.0. Like, what more can this guy not do? Standing at 5'11", 165, I think that, and he's unranked. More kids, more teams need to be paying attention to this guy. He is out here torching every team that he goes up against. Get him off you. Yeah, my guy Tyler Bassey out here, he is he just running like it's easy. It's, it's hard to get 3,800 rushing yards in Madden, let alone to actually do it in a real high school season. I'm telling you, though, these triple option teams, they're always going to torch. Like, triple option, you just need discipline to stop triple option, which is set them down, which is normally what high school defenses don't have. But yeah, this, this kid is out here just running like a wild man. 11 yards a touch. Like, he's averaging over a first down every time he touches the ball. That's crazy. I was wondering why he didn't have any receiving yards, and it's because his whole team runs a triple option. I'm not going to lie. The whole teams that are just completely, like, their whole offense is just a triple option. I really hate teams like that just because I'm a receiver, so clearly you're not passing the ball. But, hey, it, it sure does work out for the running back, as you can see. I want you guys to comment down below. Where do you guys think that a player like a Tyler Bassey should be ranked? I think that he would be a very solid FCS to maybe D2 running back. He is slightly undersized at 5'11", 165. You would like to see him a little bit closer to 180. He's got the height. You just like to see him a little bit closer to 180. And then you would like to see that top end speed. He's got a nice burst, but you would really like to see the top end speed. Like, for example, on a play like this, you would really want to see him pull away from a guy like that because he, especially in Illinois, yeah, you're one of the best teams in Illinois, but it's not like Illinois is known for being like a powerhouse state in high school football. So I would like to see his top end speed get a little bit quicker, maybe get a little bit shiftier. But overall, I could see this guy going and playing some solid FCS level football or D2 level football. But I want to hear from y'all. Comment down below. Where, where would you guys make a player like Tyler Bassey? Yeah, he just has no problem just running straight up the middle. He's just like, hey, just follow my blocks pretty much. Also, big shout out to his offensive line. Anytime that you almost got 4,000 rushing yards, your offensive line helped you out a, at least a little bit. Get a slide on him. Yup, nice little cutback. Nice. He, he has some moves in his back. I can't lie. He's got some moves. It's just the quality of competition that he's going up against isn't the greatest, which I normally don't like using that as an excuse because players can't choose where they go. But you can choose how you play against that competition. And like I said, I would like to see him be just a little bit more explosive on the field. But that's something that, hey, like if you're only getting like D3 looks or like if you're just not getting the, the looks that you really want, bro, go Juco for a year or two, man. Like, you know, put on a little bit more weight, get a little bit quicker, get a little bit more shifty and show that you can produce like this in a traditional offense because it is also really tough for running backs who do come from a triple option program to really shine because it's like, oh, well, you had the whole team blocking for you. So it's a lot easier to run when you have everybody blocking for you. Like, can you run in space? Can you run when it's just five down linemen? Things like that. So I would say if, if you're already getting FCS and D2 offers, take one of those. If you're not, go Juco for a year or two. Show that you can operate and produce at this level or a similar level at the, at the Juco level. And you'll definitely have some schools looking and calling you up. He has great vision to find some of these cutback lanes. So that is what the high school 
So that is what the nation's rushing leader in Tyler Vassie is looking like on the field. Overall, I think that this kid does have a lot of promise. I don't see him being a true D1 talent just yet, just because he is slightly undersized and doesn't necessarily have that D1 level speed, but the production is there, the vision there. He has all the intangibles to be a very solid running back at the next level. He just needs another year or two to really put things together. So if a, if a FCS level school or a D2 school sees that and they want to develop a player like him, I think he would fit perfectly fine at that level. But if not, go to the junior college level, go play there for a year or two show and go to a traditional offense go to a offense that most schools are going to be running so that you can show like hey i'm not just getting 11 yards a touch because i have the whole team blocking for me i can break an initial tackle i can i can beat my first man i can hit the hole like which you were showing you can hit the hole but overall you could just show that you can operate in a more traditional offense clearly because not every team runs a triple option but i think that overall you got a ton of talent and i'm excited to see where your football career continues to go i want to hear from all y'all be sure to comment down below what do you guys think of tyler bass's highlight tape be sure to leave us a video like because Overall, this kid put together one of the best rushing seasons that we have seen in high school football. And be sure to hit that subscribe button. We'll be bringing you gems like this all the time, and you don't want to miss out on it. And with all that being said, I love and appreciate all y'all. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Ciao.